Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. And of course, I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. In this episode, we're going to, you guys name it, we explain it. And we're going to talk about hormone replacement options for females. We get so many questions about this, Robin, and I know you explain it all day long. What are some hormone replacement options for females? Okay. So there's many different routes customizable to what every patient wants. Um, easiest is going to be creams. That's the least invasive method that we have. So yeah. we do a hormone panel. We see what's going on, what's low, what do we need to replace? We have that compounded into a cream made specially for that person. And that cream is then applied to the skin every single day. Usually I tell people like outer thigh, inner thigh, back of knee are good places to put that. Okay. Rub that cream in. It, the, the bottle it comes in is the applicator. So you just do your clicks at the bottom that makes the cream come out of the top. And then you use that as the applicator. Typically takes about two minutes to rub that in, let that absorb. You want it to be on for a couple of hours, not sweating off, washing off, anything like that. Okay. So the first option is creams. Creams, where we can put all of your hormones, whatever needs to be replaced into the cream. Okay. Um, Second option is something that's called a trochee, or if we're not doing a ton of hormones, we can put them into something smaller that's called a trit. This is something that just drops under your tongue once a day, dissolves slowly, takes about five or 10 minutes, absorbs into your bloodstream through the mucous membranes. Big thing with that, you don't brush your teeth, eat or drink for 30 minutes afterwards so that you get really good absorption with that. Okay. Um, then from there, if we see a need to put progesterone into a pill form, we can. Progesterone is the only hormone that I do in pill form. The way that the body breaks it down, it is a calming hormone. So you get more of that calming effect in pill form. Can you do progesterone in cream form as well? You can. Okay. And we can put it into the, the trochees as well. Okay. Um, but sometimes people need more of that calming hormone, more of that calming release that comes from it. So they can take it as a pill taken right before bed. That really helps sleep. You know, people that are just like mind racing all night or the women who fall asleep but can't stay asleep, PO or as mouth, by mouth progesterone is a great option for people like that. Okay. Um, then we have one of our favorite methods is... Is pellet insertion. So pellets are, uh, they're really teeny tiny. Um, and it's just a quick little sterile procedure that we do small incision, pop these pellets into the hip area. Um, and again, dosing is based upon each person, what their labs look like. So we can put testosterone in there. We can put the estradiol in there. Um, and those last generally three to four months for most people. Some people get longer out of them. Now, when you're taking it either the trochee by mouth mm-hmm. or with the creams, is that an everyday sort of thing? Every single day. Okay. And so that's why so many people love the pellets because I'm the worst about consistency. Uh, and so I completely anticipate that my patients are not going to be great at that either. Some women use their creams every single day, love it. It is part of their routine. They're awesome about being consistent, but consistency is key with forms like that. So if I'm a patient and I want to, and I'm not sure which method mm-hmm. I want to go about, is this just something you guys talk in the consult about? It is. Or do you base it on like symptoms in um, terms of like which ones you would put them on? Usually talk in a consult. A lot of times I'm going to start out with either the the trochee form or the cream form. Um, if your body hasn't had hormones in a while and I put pellets in first thing, I have the possibility of maybe putting you a little bit too high and your body being like, whoa, what's going on? Getting some symptoms that we don't want. Um, so I can go straight to pellets, but I tend to dose on the lower side if I do that till I see how you respond. But if I'm using a cream or a trochee, I can adjust those very easily. So if you start using it and you're saying, hey, like this is doing nothing, it's really easy to bump the dose up. But if all of a sudden you're starting to have some side effects that you're not happy about, we pull it down very easily. Once a pellet's in, it's in. You're not fishing that out. It's well, there. That's what I was going to ask. Like, can you go from one to the other? Like, say I start off like you said, on creams, but then I say, Hey, Robin, I really don't want to do this every single day. I can then move to pellets. Absolutely. Usually start creams two to three months. And then that's when we repeat some labs, say, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Do you like what you're doing? If you don't like having to be so consistent with it, that's when we go to pellets. Because at that point I've seen what those hormones are going to start doing to you. So I have a better idea like, okay, if I use this amount of estrogen, I'm going to get this effect out of it. So it just helps us kind of work you into things slowly versus just like diving into the deep end. Super cool. Yeah. Robin, you have explained hormone replacement uh, 
options. <laughs> guys, you name it, we explain it. This is Explain This with Robin Riddle. We appreciate you guys being here. As always, we'll see y'all next time. Don't go away.